Greetings and salutations. I'm your blind dyslexic, and this is TBD On. Sort of little look at certain events or certain things from my POV. Last month, last month or the month before, I remember seeing. I remember seeing sort of a promotional thing uh, on Facebook or Twitter about time travel. A little, little excerpt from a show, and they talk about the whole thing of wormholes, how getting from point A to point B. Uh, if we had the ability to travel through time, whether it's forward or backward, would you do it? And of course, the one main elephant in the room, if some, while back in time someone pointed out to you, or you pointed out to that person or somebody, that someone was going to grow up to be evil, i.e. Hitler, would you... Or could they eliminate this person before they come to power? I would have to say no. I know there's a lot of you out there screaming at me saying, but look at all the sins Hitler did. He's responsible for millions, trillions of deaths. He was at the heart, or near the heart, of genocide and and the apocalypse. Not the the uh, the apocalypse. Okay, the culling of races. I realize, and he's one third of the Antichrist. I realize that. I agree with that. But. Myself included, we keep forgetting about one thing. That chapter of history has already been written. It's easy for us, sitting here in the future, to be able to say, if we prevented that from happening, the stuff today, or stuff that he had done, had never transpired. We all do the same mistake. We're looking from now to then. Instead of then, them, them to now. It is that easy to do that. And what we're forgetting is, by him being in power, Certain things would not transpire, whether it's from the Allied side, the Axis side, or world side. Whether it was for good or evil, we'll never know because that chapter has already been written. Granted, needless wars will have not been fought over his name. Granted, races would not have been called due to him being in power. And there are three people, there are three kinds of people at, in war. There's the fearful. Those who, pretty much as the name's sake, fear that if they speak out or do anything, anything that something bad could happen to their loved ones or themselves. Then you have the agreeers, who they may not agree 100% with the regime, but they're in some way, shape, and form hoping to become the third, which is the benefit. the benefit, whether it's through gratuity in some way, shape, and form, knowledge of some way, shape, and form, 
are getting to remain alive. So the first and second can always become the third in a heartbeat. And like I said, there are, it can be considered as a multiverse type of setup. By having, by taking out Hitler too soon, uh, things that either side had benefited from may not come to may not come to pass. A let's look at Pearl Harbor. The U.S. may not have been pulled in at all. Pearl Harbor may not have. may not have happened or we may not have felt that Pearl Harbor was harsh enough to be pulled in an assassination could have pulled the US in Normandy the storming of that may not have gone 100% and granted one man the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Nobody would have to worry about that. But due to a paradigm shift in the whole overused cliche of someone far worse taking over, could honestly happen. I know it's an overused cliche. Someone far worse could have taken over, but it's true. Something has to take up the vacuum, or someone must take up the vacuum that is left behind by something else. Let's say for the sake of argument that, so, that we are living in an altered timeline. Follow me on this. Somebody traveled back in time, assassinated the individual that Hitler took over for. So it makes you wonder how far worse is Hitler compared to the person that was taken out? Frightening, ain't it? that he was the worst horse of the two choices. Secondly, the whole, what if Hitler was taken out before coming to power? And someone far worse took over for him. The new individual may look at certain aspects and go, why are we using our resources that should be going to the war to transport said, indi said individuals to a concentration camp. Why are we sent? Why are we using our resources to house these individuals when they're merely going to be killed in the end? Cold in the end. When you find the undesirable, you kill the undesirable. So, in the new regime, Anne Frank never came to be. Schindler's List, or Schindler of Schindler's List, would not have come to be. The paradigm shift of the three shifts because somebody in the timeline we knew of got shifted to one of those two other two out of those three or one of the out of those three so the Philadelphia project may not have happened uh,
the bombs that were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Either the Allied forces, in other words, they would have been bombed, the U.S. could have been bombed. So you see, folks, granted, traveling back in time and doing said thing may be a good idea. You do it too early, you end up causing the paradigm shift that really hurts us than aids us. I am your blind dyslexic. This has been TBD On. If you can think of other little aspects I may have forgotten or you just want to add to the conversation, leave it down below. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I do these or my Tulsa walkabouts. or other interesting videos. And thank you for listening. I'm your blind dyslexic. Ciao for now.